trying to decide which one is not tequila. <laughs> <laughs> I have not heard from her. Hopefully, she's okay. I wanted you guys to, take, to come along with me on a pool day just to chop it up, a little chit chat, just a little work day at the pool, at the pool side. I need to flat iron my hair on the right side because you can tell, you can really tell a difference on my right side. Look at this. I'm kicking back and I'm good. Ooh, ain't no sun out too. Yeah, baby. As I got older, now I understand why adults, because I was a child then, but now I understand why adults like jacuzzi better because it's more relaxing. You know what I'm saying? Like decompress, you ain't got to do too much. Then it's like the kids want to come in the jacuzzi, but I was one of them kids, you know, I ain't gonna lie, that, you know, want to get in jacuzzi and all that type of stuff. Like, I was that one too. I see why. A lot of adults like jacuzzis. It's really cold though, I ain't gonna lie, it is cold. So I'm about to get out and just stick to what I'm used to, which is the jacuzzi. Hello? You said open it? Do you have a key? I'm gonna talk to y'all. Up here, but we'll talk to y'all later. So yeah, I'm gonna talk to y'all later because he's looking right now. Yeah. yeah. You see that? See y'all the first ones over here. That just that just kind of killed my vibe a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. But if he had a key, why the fuck would he? Uh, I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna talk to y'all later because. Niggas sometimes, especially out here, niggas out here sometimes they can be a little, uh, yeah, they a different breed out here, I will say. Alright y'all, so I just I just came back, I left real early because I just didn't feel comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm making you not want to go to the pool by yourself now. After hearing that, and by yourself like you normally do. Yeah. When he going to it, cause it comes small, but I see him never. I don't hear when I act different. Same list that we talk about me, it's the same list that we ask. But when I hop on some beef, well, I could just hop on a porch. I got a Ricky. I call him Ricky. He say he love me like we'll see. I can actually afford to get a pink Bugatti. Even bitch, you my son, go and sit on a party. Joe Green. Hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to decide which one is not tequila. Okay, I'm gonna go with the middle one. Hopefully, that ain't tequila. But if it is, it's gonna go with the middle. Alright. Hold on. Okay. I'm still picking that one. I think I saw, uh, yeah, I think I know what this is. I think I got the wrong one, but. Okay, yeah, I did get the wrong one. Okay, all right, let's go get it, okay. All right, Whew, yeah, I know I got it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Opa. Ah, all right. We good, that wasn't that bad. 
Is coming over. He's <laughs> like, no. Do I even need to say at this point? <laughs> now, if y'all know, if I'm wearing this, it's obviously, oh, not me flicking this off. It's obviously because I'm going to, oh, I'm having guests. So, basically, we're having heaven come over and her friend, Logan. So, I'm excited to definitely meet Logan. But we're basically having a little like, Girl talk thing again. You guys love girl talk with um, Heaven and Jen, but this time Jen couldn't make it. We're gonna basically have like a little, little girl talk, little wine and dine, little like you know, putting lotion on. I'm telling y'all, butter. This right here, Galore House. Galore House really needs to like. She, she should really like sponsor me for real, for real, like send me stuff because I done promoted y'all and all that years ago and i feel like they should send me some products child mm -hmm. yeah little house give me this right here but um anywho so yeah that's basically what i'm doing right now putting a little chanel i'm trying to figure out if i should wear makeup i probably should yes yeah, given that so yeah that's what we're going to do so i just want to go ahead and put an introduction out on this but yeah and this is a good lotion too this method body smell like Coconut. Sorry. Y'all probably like, damn, she keep on putting her hands together. Yeah, girl. Cause I deal with like I have dry skin real bad. And that's because of eczema and all that. So I have to really like lather myself full of lotion. Even with my face. Like sometimes you guys may see me on camera like ashy and all that. And literally I put lotion on y'all. It's because of my eczema. I have dry skin really bad. And then I have this other um, skin issue with Pythosaurus. Pythosaurus. Hopefully I said that right. But if I don't, forgive me. But yeah, I also have that condition too. So it all relates to having dry skin, basically. And my I have a dry scalp as well. So I have to really like oil myself like of hydration. That's why I'm constantly drinking water as much as I can. But I have X movie really bad. But Anyhow. A year ago? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I came across this quote. Cause I ain't about to roll it if I ain't rolling that fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This is all owned and operated by Disney, this studio. Oh, Capitan Theater. School there. So, Lawrence Fishburne, Cher, Nicholas Cage, Jack Ritter, Cal Burnett, Judy Garland, Cooper Gooding Jr. Be we need more. Let's be spontaneous, y'all. Yeah. Hell of a time, love. A hell of a time. A hell of a time. Hell of a time, love. A hell of a time. A hell of a time. Hell of a time. Just trust me, I got you. I'm on your side. I'll be the girl that you want all night. Oh, you Here we are to the left. The first glimpse of the Hollywood sign. As 
we make home. our way up here. This home on a ring, La La Land, Rebel Without a Cause, Jungle Without a Cause. Reason you can no longer go up to the Hollywood sign? People went up there to change the sign to read Hollyweed. <laughs> Hollywood, Hollywood. Hollywood. And so the city installed infrared cameras, motion detectors, $10,000 fine for anyone that gets caught up there, of course. You see the gray building over there in the distance? Colorful chairs on the balcony over there to your left. That is where the music video Pop Star was filmed. Justin Bieber, Drake, DJ Khaled. I am not a doctor, I'm a pop star. Nah, no, no, from the plane to the helicopter. This is one of six, Marvin Gaye. The brown home at the very top, branded out to Ludacris, Jason Statham, Young Thug, Takashi 69 multiple others, 5,000 a day. How many cameras looking down on us as we cruise through Beverly Hills? Over 12,500 cameras. Yeah. On a rainbow, I've got the word that's right, my finger. Yeah, on the left hand side, this on right here, Steven Tyler. To the left. Far left up here, Michael Jackson. That's where he paid a hundred grand a month to live. He passed away in there. Knocking me up what? there. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, hundred grand a month, man. Hundred grand a month, man. Wow. That's light right there. That's light for Michael, man. Here to the right, Linda. Just so you guys a star map if you guys want one. Hello. Hey girl. Of course. Get on through here. This is it right here to the left. This is P. Diddy. Hey, yo, don't tell me they throwing that out right there. And they just throwing money out. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like picking that up. Taking that with me, y'all. <laughs> yo, dog. <laughs> one, man's, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> No money in there? Nah, it's just filthy stuff in there. <laughs> I'd have took it home too. I'd have took it home, but it smells. It smells. They got like water and hey, so okay. hey, That's Pete Diddy's mom back there. That's his mom right there. Oh, Hello, Miss Diddy. Hey. See? Hey, Dion. What's up, Dion? What's up, Dion? <laughs> Just, just pray for it, and it'll come naturally. You know what I mean? It'll come. It'll come. Whatever God has for you, no man can take. Okay. Shout out to Pharrell Williams when he said that. It just, you know, it just clicked. And it's like, like, uh, like Do Donna Summer says, like, when you got it, you know you got it. You just don't know when it's gonna happen. And yeah, I feel like that too. And so, you know, I ain't tripping. I'm just going, man. I'm just going, you know. Um, but thank you, God, man. Thank you, God, man. For real, real tough. Bear with me. We have made it back, y'all. It was fun. I'm going to give you guys a little L.A. vibe of what's the tea. So, yeah, that's the little tour. That's the end of it, y'all. We've seen Dianco, all that stuff. I feel like we should have a little chit-chat. Before we get into it though, basically do my hair. I blow dried it and washed it. I may have to blow dry it some more, but I washed it or whatnot after I got back from after I, you know what I'm saying, you guys see the clips of us of me on the city board on um, the city bus tour, not city bus tour, but more so like the city tour type of vibe i decided to wash my hair because y'all see my hair matted that was because i washed my hair and all that and i didn't i didn't detangle it that was my fault but 
Anywho, so basically I'm about to do my hair right now as we speak. It's the next morning of, and I want to tell you how I felt about everything this week and all that type of stuff. So we're going to take this off. This look a little like, ugh. I'm just going to tell y'all how I felt about yesterday. Yesterday was so fun. So fun, so spontaneous. It was kind of like, it was kind of like, oh, okay. Went to go get some in and out food that day. And at first I was going to go home and like, you know, I had my little in and out. I'm good, you know, stuff like that. Something was like, you know, walk down the Hollywood strip. I was real close to the Hollywood um, strip or whatnot, the Walk of Fame, all that. And I decided to do that. Long story short, a man, a man gave me free tickets to go on a city bank. So I'm like, shoot, why not take this opportunity to take you guys along with me? And, you know, I was like, shoot, this for content. So I was like, hey, I'm with it. Like, you know, even though, I'm already, even though I have already lived here for about almost three, two, two to three years now. So it was kind of like, even though I already know, like, pretty much of how Los Angeles is, you still may not know everything. So I was like, you know what, let me just see. I take this, like, you know, <laughs> somebody was in a rush and they had to go back somewhere and some, something he said and he was like, you know, I'm going to give you this, like, you know, on me, you know, and I was like, oh, snap, okay, like, cool, like, you know, so I went along with it, then I went to the uh, kiosk or whatever, the guys or whatnot, and they were kind of sketchy, though, I ain't gonna lie, I felt kind of sketched out, I was like, this man gave me tickets that, <laughs> that he might have felt the same way, I don't know, but... And we went up there and basically you guys seen stuff. Basically seen for a house, um, P. Diddy house. You seen that. Basically y'all pretty much seen what I seen and all that stuff. Seen the, oh my God. It felt, it was so beautiful outside. The wind, the hair blowing. I was enjoying it. I was. I was enjoying it. It felt so good. But even though when we stopped, it was hot, blazing hot though. But when we were moving, baby, oh, the wind, the just, oh, I was just feeling it. <laughs> I was loving every single bit of it. I'm not even gonna lie. But yeah, I really enjoyed myself. And I wanted to talk about the little thing about you know. Um, basically, um, heaven not showing up, um, the reality is I have not heard from heaven. I have not heard from her. I decided to, I don't know, speak on it because this, this is reality. I want to show you guys like what really happens and sometimes your, you know, sometimes your friends may not show up and that's okay, you know, but you know, the reality is I, she has not hit me up text me i have reached out to her even to her you know best friend and all that and you know things has not been said ever since then you know but i guess we got carly russell who knows like you know <laughs> who knows with that situation um i don't yeah that's pretty much what all i can say about that is that i have not heard from her hopefully she's okay i reached out plenty of times and she knows this if she's watching this, you know, she knows that. But, you know, I, for me personally, if anybody's in a situation like this, it's only so much you can do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you, if you have reached out to a person, then that's all that matters. You reached out on your part and that's all that matters. So, you know, hopefully she's, she's okay. It is. <laughs> As they say, it is what it is. Moving on. But um I just wanted to touch on that because I know y'all probably hang I probably uh, left y'all hanging like dang, like what happened? Like, you know, like what's your thoughts on it? How do you feel about it? You know, it is what it is. Alright, I'm gonna come back in three, two, one. <laughs> I did like a loose curl. Shut it down. Shut it down. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. 
Make sure you give us a big fat thumbs up. I just wanted to show you what my hairstyle looked like before I end out this video. And yeah, that's the little, that's the little tea on things, how I feel about things. It is what it is, y'all. God is good and that's all that matters, man. Um, I love you guys so much. I thank you guys for the love and the support lately. I've been seeing a lot of new subscribers join to it. So come on. Keep on coming in. Come on in. You know what I'm saying? Come on in. We love you. We love you over here. But um, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you.